Ready to unlock the transformative power of exercise in your grief journey? Dealing with the loss of someone close can be a mountain to climb. And staying positive can feel like a distant dream. But what if I told you that there is a secret, a key that can help you navigate the roller coaster of emotions and regain your strength in the face of grief? Whether you are a seasoned fitness enthusiast, a couch warrior, looking to take the first step or somewhere in between, this episode is your compass on the path to healing. We're about to uncover a world where exercise isn't just about burning calories. It's about lighting up the path to recovery and renewal. So lace up those sneakers or slip on those comfy walking shoes because we're about to redefine the way we think about exercise and grief. Stay tuned for part three of Post Grief Wellness Series. It's time to embrace the transformative magic of physical activity. Welcome to Overcoming Grief, a show for women experiencing profound grief and looking for support in healing and transforming their lives. If you are ready to heal after a loss, create a new self-identity, take responsibility to do the hard things and get massive results in your life, this show is for you. Now... Here's your host, Master Grief and Life Coach, Sandy Linda. Hello, fantastic listeners. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're enjoying the crisp autumn air, the rustling leaves, and the irresistible scent of pumpkin spice in the air. Are you having a pumpkin spice latte this morning? Because that smells so good. (laughs) It's that magical time of year again, Halloween. Whether you're planning a costume party, carving pumpkins, or indulging in sweet treats, I hope you find moments of joy in this spooky season. And speaking of moments of joy, we got something special lined up for you today. As we embark on this Halloween theme episode, we dive into part three of Post Grief Wellness Series. Now, Did you listen to the first part of the post-grief wellness series? If not, go back because I talked about how grief can impact us both emotionally and physically, and it was really fascinating to dive into the science behind it. In last week's episode, I explored emotional eating and how it relates to grief. It's something that many of us can relate to whether we lose our appetite or find comfort in food during tough times. It's a time for healing, renewal, and discovering the transformative power of physical activity. Just like the ghosts and ghouls of Halloween, I will explore how movement can lead us out of the shadows of grief and into the warm light of hope. So whether you're embracing the peacefulness of an autumn walk, the bliss of a run, or the meditative flow of yoga, and guess what? There is such a thing called grief yoga. Stay tuned as I uncover how physical activity can be a guiding light on your path to healing. As we gear up for Halloween, let's remember our trusty jack of the lanterns that light up in the way in the dark. But you know what else can guide us toward renewal and healing? You guessed it, physical activity. So don't be shy. Let's explore this incredible way of improving our well-being together. Trust me, there is magic moving our body, and I'm here to help you discover it. Here is part three, healing through physical activity. Experiencing the loss of a loved one can significantly impact our health making it difficult to stay positive. It can lead to sleepless nights and a lack of motivation. Therefore, taking care of oneself after dealing with a loss is crucial. Engaging in physical exercises can be an effective way to mitigate the effects of grief while also promoting physical and mental well-being. Today, I have an interesting question. Can exercise really make a difference when you're going through the ups and downs in grief? And here's the scoop. 
Exercise might not have the power to make grief vanish, but it's like a trusty sidekick in helping us handle its impact. Did you maintain a regular exercise routine before your loss? If so, it might be worth considering ease into it gently. However, it's important to note that you may need to scale back after a significant loss if you've been engaging in intense workouts. Experts suggest that pushing yourself too hard during exercise can increase fatigue and a greater risk of accidents while grieving. It's recommended that you redefine your idea of exercises after experiencing the loss of a loved one. When we move, our bodies release these fantastic little things called endorphins. They are like our natural mood boosters, working hard to kick discomfort to the curb and give us a mood lift. It's like your body's secret stash of happiness. And I'm not just saying this. Experts in the field often recommend a mix of healthy eating and some light physical activity when you're going through a tough time. But here's the lowdown. Exercise and a balanced diet can tag team stress like pros. They're like the dynamic duel that swoops in and helps you catch those much needed sleep at night. So let me share some exciting insights about how getting active can be a game changer during your grief journey. Let's explore how movement can be your ally in managing the impact of grief. Now, when you are going through a tough journey of grief, it's like your mind is on a roller coaster with thoughts swirling around that one big loss. It's hard to think about anything else. But here's where exercise steps in as a tremendous distraction. It shifts your focus on your body. So while you're grieving, exercise can be a great distraction. Now, another way of exercising is boosting your self-esteem. Grief has this way of making us doubt ourselves, like we're not measuring up or we've taken a wrong turn somewhere. But guess what? Exercise steps in like your personal cheerleader to give your self-esteem a solid high five. It's all about feeling stronger, more capable, and ultimately believing in yourself again. As you journey through your fitness routine, it's like you're leveling up in the game of life you'll start to trust your ability to tackle whatever comes your way. And that's pretty darn empowering. Now, finding connection through exercise. And when it comes to grief, it can feel incredibly isolating, like you're navigating a path no one else understands. But guess what? Exercise isn't just about working up a sweat. It's a fantastic way to connect with others who walked a similar journey. It's like finding your tribe, your people, who gets what you're going through. Whether you're joining a support group or hitting up a fitness class, it's all about building that sense of community so you don't feel alone on this road. And here's the cool part. Exercise can be a social gig. You can sweat it out with friends or family, turning it into quality time that's both good for your heart and your relationships. Here's another question. What physical activity can help with grief? I'm glad you asked. As I was researching this topic, studies have found that there are 22 types of physical activity that can help with different forms of grief. And different forms of grief comes in divorce, a death of a spouse, or childbirth, job loss. So the researchers did track a bunch of various activities like yoga, walking, running, martial arts, and stuff like that. Some folks like to do things in groups for the social and competitive factors, while others prefer to go it alone with things like swimming or hiking. I'm just going to address three areas of physical activities that can help you through the grieving process and for you to take action on some of these items today. So number one is walking. Walking out of the shadows. Find healing through nature walk. Grief can be a heavy burden to carry and it often brings the risk of falling into the shadows of depression. 
But here's some good news. Nature walks can be a game changer for anyone's mourning a significant loss. When you're feeling down and struggling with grief, it sometimes helps to just get outside and walk. Whether you're hiking through a forest or just strolling through a park, being in nature can do wonders for your mental health. The best thing is it's totally accessible. No need for prescription, no need to join a gym or anything like that. It's your choice to go out there and make it happen. Get out that couch. And researchers have found that taking a leisurely 90-minute walk in a natural area can work wonders. Not only does it get your body moving, but it also quiets those repetitive, gloomy thoughts that can lead to depression. And here's the kicker. We're not talking about walking on a treadmill or city streets. Nope. We're talking about immersing yourself in the soothing embrace of natural surroundings. Now, I'm not saying you should take those 90 minute walks. I'm just saying this is what researchers have stated. Think about it. Walking in nature, listening to the rustling leaves, the gentle breeze, the sound of a babbling creek. It's like nature's own therapy session. Spending time in these serene settings isn't just a mood booster. It's a mental recharge. And if you're dealing with the loss of a spouse, a parent, or someone dear to you, I invite you to go on an adventure walk in nature. So lace up those sneakers, grab a friend, or go solo. And let the healing power of nature guide you out of the shadows and into the light of hope. So can yoga really help with the grieving process? And the answer is yes. I call it yoga, navigating the river of life. Studies have shown that yoga can be a powerful tool for anyone dealing with the weight of grief and loss. Ever heard of grief yoga? It's a practice that gained recognition as a supplement therapy for those struggling with the loss of a loved one or other forms of grief. Grief yoga offers a safe and nurturing space, almost like a gentle river where individuals can wade through the emotions. It's a space to explore, find comfort, and start the healing journey. Imagine it as a way to release the tension that grief has held in your body and to ease the emotional weight you've been carrying. It's all about promoting relaxation and creating precious inner peace during the grieving process. Let me know if you have found a place that offers grief yoga. It's a beautiful experience. And here's the beauty of it. These feelings, these emotions, they're universal. We've all known loss. But if we don't give ourselves permission to honor that loss and those emotions, they can get stuck in our bodies. Trust me, your body remembers. So whether you're searching for online videos on grief yoga or check out your local gym or yoga studio and give it a try, let it guide you through those emotions, helping you find a sense of healing and release. And the last part of exercising is fitness centers or gym, but this is about human connection. As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic shook up our lives in so many ways. But here is a silver lining. Fitness centers are opening their doors again as things slowly return to normal. After what felt like an eternity of home workouts, many of us finally get to step into the gym. And let's not underestimate the power of that human connection. You see, being in a gym isn't about pumping iron or hitting the treadmill. It's about being around people, friends, and a supportive community of grief advocates. And speaking of friends, they can be your secret weapon for staying on track with your fitness goals, especially during the tough times of grieving. You know, having that close-knit network can make all the difference. The fitness community will encourage you work out with you, and even provide emotional support when you're navigating the challenging waters of grief. They're out there. Trust me. 
So whether it's your gym buddies or your exercise pals, they're not just there for the workouts. They're there for you. It's like having your own team to cheer you on and help you through the ups and downs of your grief journey. As we wrap up this spooky spectacular episode of post-grief wellness, I hope you've been inspired to embrace the magic of healing through physical activity, the transformative power of movement in your grief journey. I've explored how exercise isn't just about breaking a sweat. It's all about healing the heart and soul. From nature walks to yoga, I covered it all. And don't forget about the importance of having a supportive community, whether in the gym or with friends who motivate you along the way. We're all in this together, and that connection can make all the difference. And speaking of togetherness, we got one more fantastic part of the series coming up, which is part four, Balancing Nutrition and Self-Care. In our final installment, we'll go into the world of nutrition and self-care during the grieving process. It's essential to understand how what we eat can impact our emotional well-being. I will explore practical tips, maybe some healthy recipes or some foods that can help you along the way, and self-care strategies that can help you find balance and nourish your body and mine as you navigate through grief. So mark your calendars and get ready for the grand finale of Post Grief Wellness series. Together, I'll uncover the secrets to maintaining a healthy body and a hopeful heart during these challenging times. It will be an episode filled with valuable insight, so ensure you subscribe and ready to tune in. Remember, Just as the ghosts and ghouls of Halloween disappear at sunrise, your grief can also start to fade as you let movement guide you toward a brighter tomorrow. Until then, keep moving, keep healing, and remember, you're not alone in this journey. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed today's show and don't want to worry about missing an episode, you can follow the show wherever you listen to your podcast. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you could share the podcast with others who you think would benefit from it and leave a rating and a review to let me know what you think. It doesn't have to be a five-star rating, although I sure hope you love the show. I want your honest feedback so I can create an awesome podcast that provides tons of value on the show. Visit www.sandylinda.com slash podcast launch for step-by-step instructions on how to follow, rate, and review. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Overcoming Grief. If you're ready to move into a new rewarding life experience and want more information about how to work with Sandy, visit www.sandylinda.com.